Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Today we're headed up to northern Michigan to the small town of Frankfurt. Frankfurt rests on the shore of Lake Michigan at the mouth of the Betsy River. It has a population of about 1,200 people. Before we head into the downtown area of Franklin, our walk here begins at the Frankfurt Light, which is situated at the North Breakwater within the harbor of Frankfurt. This light stands as a beacon of maritime history and has architectural significance. It was constructed in 1912 and was officially registered, listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2005. The history of Frankfurt Light dates back to the initial dredging of the harbor in 1859. Subsequent improvements, including the completion of piers by 1873, laid the groundwork for the establishment of the original Frankfurt North Breakwater Lighthouse. This initial structure featured an enclosed timber frame pyramid beacon and was erected in 1873. In 1912, a new chapter in the lighthouse history began with the construction of a square steel pyramidal tower on the North Pier. This modernization effort marked a significant mi milestone, particularly with the electrification of the light in 1912. The 1920s saw the commencement of construction on concrete breakwaters at the harbor entrance, which were completed by the early 1930s. With the outdated piers now considered obsolete, plans were devised to shorten them. Consequently, in 1932, the 1912 lighthouse was relocated to the head of the North Breakwater, where it underwent expansion during the addition of a new two-story base to the lighthouse. Frankfurt has an expansive history that dates back as far as the late 1600s. It begins with Father Jacques Marquette, a prominent Jesuit missionary among the Great Lake Indians, it's, he, and he is believed, although it's never been confirmed, that he possibly passed away and might have been interred in Frankfurt around May of 1675. The exact location of his death remains a topic of extensive debate among historians due to very scarce and imprecise records during the day. Since the arrival of early settlers in northern Michigan, Frankfurt has been identified as one of two potential sites where Father Maquette may have died, a claim echoed by native accounts. Historians also acknowledge at least two sites attributed to his death. However, within two years of his passing, his remains were reportedly transported to the church at St. Ignace and laid to rest in accordance with traditional Indian burial customs. The area that eventually evolved into the city of Frankfurt was recognized early on for its economic and commercial pros prospects, largely due to the land being predominantly purchased by the Risden family who surveyed it for the United States. Joseph Oliver, the first known settler, acquired 14 acres between Lake Obex Cis and Lake Michigan in 1852, constructing a modest cabin. Oliver, a skilled woodsman, sustained himself through fishing, hunting, trapping, and timber cutting. The discovery of Obexis Lake occurred in 1855 when a schooner uh, owned by George W. Tiff stumbled upon the lake during a storm, prompting Tiff to purchase vast stretches of surrounding land. Subsequent development began in 1859 when a Detroit company led by the Ransom Gardner and George S. Frost Company acquired the Tiff lands. Louis A. Dobby was appointed as the development agent overseeing various aspects including the construction of a sawmill. Notably, despite the Dow family's association with the Dow Chemical Company, they have no documented, not documented connection to A.S. Dow who managed the, small, the sawmill phase of the development of the town.
This small community saw little activity during the Civil War years in the 1860s, but by 1867 the United States government recognized the strategic importance of the Abex Seas Harbor and initial improvements. These efforts, however, were not without setbacks as Dobby's earlier work had disappeared by this time. Nevertheless, by 1870, a substantial progress had been made with the channel widened and piers constructed, facilitating the navigation for vessels on the Great Lakes. Over the years, further enhancements were made, including the establishment of the lighthouse that we saw earlier, a United States life-saving station, and the extension of piers and the construction of breakwaters. Frankfurt's administrative significance grew with time. Initially part of Crystal Lake Township, the community became the Benzie County seat in 1870 following a series of elections and debates. In 1885, it was formally incorporated as a village, and later the, the, the city was transitioned to a full formal city, official city, in 1935. This reflects its steady growth and evolving status as a regional hub in the area. Throughout its history, Frankfurt has remained a testament to resilience and progress and has also adapted to changing times while preserving its rich heritage as well as the natural beauty of the area. Morning. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Doing great. That's pretty cool. <laughs>
morning. I hope you've enjoyed this Wondering Walks of Wonder Tour here in Frankfurt, Michigan. If you have visited Frankfurt before or happen to be a resident, leave a comment on some of your experiences that you have had in town. Otherwise, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Take care now. Bye-bye.